Hi, this is Arya, Arya Live TV, every Thursday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And right now, I'm going to be bringing the View of Las Vegas uh, co host And one is live right now at the location. And I want to introduce Janet Franco before I'm going to introduce my uh, co host here next to me. And uh, Janet, how are you there? Uh, can you please uh, tell me what's going on uh, at that location? Yes, Ariel, thank you. Thank you for having us. Um, yes, I'm Janet Franco, also known as Soulful Rosie, and um, I'm sitting here with Cynthia Salmon and her grandson, little baby Christopher Salmon, and they had a horrendous situation when the baby had a near drowning on July 3rd of 2017 here in Las Vegas. And we want to talk a little bit today about the miracle of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, because to date, Christopher has had, I think, nearly 50 treatments with hyperbaric, right? Um, so we had 62 in Southern California oh, okay. so and five, five here. here. So he's almost up to 70 dives with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. But is it okay if I let uh, Cynthia tell Sure, uh, tell me what story. happened to little Christopher. Uh, Cynthia, tell me what's going on and how old is little Christopher? Um, well, a year ago, like Janet was saying, um, last year in July on the 3rd, 2017, he had a near drowning in his uh, bathtub, his grandpa was watching him and he stepped away to get his clothing and then he found Christopher and then we took, he went to the hospital and everything and they were trying to tell us there was no hope for Christopher whatsoever. That Christopher wouldn't make it, they wanted us to pull the plug on him and everything. And when we were sitting in the hospital, we ended up getting lots of texts and messages from everybody, including Carlson's story had just broke and uh, so that gave us hope because Eden, she is now um, walking, talking, eating. She can put her own shoes on herself and everything now. So She's basically, really the important. doctor, basically the doctor is trying to tell you, let's pull it out. This is no more. He's he's going to be fidgeted, you know, something like that. So, but a lot of people don't tell you, don't give up. And then suddenly, Sharon, I know Sharon has this uh, the product that is the stem cell, right? But you have a ter different terminology with that. Can you explain that to to us, uh, well, Janet? What, what happened, Ariel, is we had uh, Cynthia was was touching on baby Christopher Sam. I'm excuse me, uh, Eden Carlson, she had a near, she actually had a drowning. She was pronounced dead for four hours. And uh, our Dr. Paul Hart in New Orleans has been working with her for nearly two years and was able to restore her brain. Sorry, he has to be. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, go treatment. ahead, don't worry. Um, and it was on the Today Show. Today, Eden Carlson has been completely restored her brain. So she's learning how to walk again and she's almost completely normal. So. The Salmons ended up finding out about that episode on the Today Show, and that's how they got a hold of me in Las Vegas. So I came over here to their house on August 15th, and when I met Christopher, his body was as hard as stone. He could barely blink his eyes, and so we started working with him with oxygen therapy, with a product called Stem Active. And what we have discovered, Ariel, is after the 80th dive or treatment, stem cell starts, starts developing in the brain. And we are noticing it with, with Christopher is, mm -hmm. is now these many months later, we're using many different things and he's going to be starting his actual stem cell protocol very soon. So we're really looking forward to watching him to come to complete recovery. And our goal is to take him to Disneyland next summer. All right, so that sounds good. So Cynthia, you never give up to your uh, your grandson, right? <laughs> right, yes. Your grandson. So. So now, how old is he? How old is he when he he drowned? Um, I believe it was 17 months old. He's two years old now, he's like two and a half. And um, we've seen, you know, different changes and things with him. He moved his toes on his own. Um, I was told he still has his senses and everything in his legs. His brain just has to help remember that he can walk again so the water yeah so the water probably went into his brain when he's drawn because he never got an attention right away that's probably the cause of it uh, hopefully he will feel better on the uh, stem cells that you are uh, working on right Janet so that's the one you're absolutely, working on right now absolutely we uh, we actually are going to be incorporating neurofeedback with Christopher as well as hyperbaric oxygen therapy and stem cell so we are working on a protocol to bring to the nation 
for other babies that are having near drownings. And we're, we're hoping to, to change the fabric of America when it comes to medical with, with hyperbaric oxygen therapy, with our veterans as well. So we Cynthia, yeah. So Cynthia, is that working for, me, for your grandson? Is, is the stem there? cell, yes? Oh yes, definitely. So that yeah, actually she's helps. Getting, she's not getting stem cell yet. He's getting hyperbaric okay. oxygen, but the hyperbaric oxygen is creating the body to produce its own stem cells. Okay. So once we add in a stem cell protocol, it's only going to enhance the uh, the efficacy of the hyperbaric oxygen treatments. That's what we're hoping for. So this is all in science right now, and we are literally living in a historical time now, Mary. Okay, while you're talk, um, while she's doing that, let me talk to Janelle. I want to welcome <coughs> Janelle. How are you, Janelle? I'm well. And uh, Janet, she's gonna be part of the the view of Las Vegas. So it's there you nice go. It's nice to meet you too. So there you go. She's gonna be live. This is live right now, and uh, she's uh, the story behind her is little Christopher, you know, drowned, drowned when he was 17 month old, and now they're trying to use the hyperbaric, hyperbaric, right? Yes. So that's yes. the one. Yes, yes. That's we one. actually started hyperbaric with uh, veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Paul Harch has a protocol for traumatic brain injury, and to date, we've restored over 3,000 brains of our soldiers. So we're building a center right here in Henderson, Nevada, to treat our veterans with uh, traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress, along with our babies. <laughs> so we're very excited, very excited. That, that's so. pretty cool, and uh, I, I think um, Grandma is not even look like a grandma. <laughs> no, she's a glamma. <laughs> glamma, yeah. I like the glamma. I like that the glamma. <laughs> That's a good one. So right now, uh, I'm we want sorry. To give her kudos, Ariel. She's raising three more grandbabies, Christopher siblings. Aww. So it pats off to Cynthia and Ted. They are just amazing people, and it's an honor to work with them and help Christopher back to recovery. I know Channel 13 uh, has been following the story of little Christopher, right, until today? Yes, yes. So yeah, they're trying to follow, you know, what's going on on him because you guys never give up and uh, I believe the doctor never. I know a lot of doctor trying to say, hey, you know, this is what is going to go, it's going to die, you know, let's remove it, you know. Like like a friend of mine, they decided to remove it, but I know he's still alive, you know. He's still alive, really. I was like, no, don't, you know, this man is still moving and talking. But yes. when they put the patient into hospice, that's your end. I saw the guy. Yes, we have, we're having great results now with CTE, with the NFL. We're treating a lot of NFL players right now. At UFC, uh, we've treated quite a few actors and actresses across the country, and so we are on the cutting edge of of really seeing a transformation with our VA. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get reimbursements for uh, TBI for traumatic mm -hmm. brain injury with hyperbaric starts in October of this year. So, 50 years of lobbying, we finally did it as a people. We finally stood up and said, "This is we're demanding this, so we're getting it." So, thank you to the people of America for standing with us and getting hyperbaric on the forefront. That's pretty America. cool. I know, I know you want that to happen anytime soon. I know it's gonna happen. It's happening now, right? And you're gonna have a yeah. location pretty soon with yes, several doctors and Henderson. scientists. Yes, in Henderson, uh, Nevada, we're also working with the Veteran Treatment Court judges out there to bring it into the court system so we can treat our veterans before they end up in jail like felonies so we've had great success with that so it's very historical time for us uh, right now ariel and nevada will be the first state in the union to have the first imagine now center and that's going to include all the modalities and the ancillary products and services to treat our veterans and those people with mental illness and that need help so that's that's pretty cool because a lot of people are doing their best to help the veterans and if that is the case you know why not conglomerate with other people who is trying to you know bring the veterans in the good position like to get well you know the PTSD and other things that homelessness you know there's so many out there that have been trying to help them but I don't know what happened now we have so many homelessness and you know they kept saying I'm the veterans why you know but I don't know. Everybody are talking about it, but I still keep saying the sign. You know, I'm on homeless but veterans. I would love to focus in on future episodes of your show talking about uh, homelessness with our veterans. I'm walking down a path with a veteran family right now 
And Michael Frinsley now is in jail because he wasn't treated in time when they knew about his mold in his brain. So, so this family could be homeless in the next two months if we don't get this house sold. All so right. there's a lot of stories, and I'd like to bring those to your show. We'll so talk people... about that. I'm still going to bring you guys. Uh, Cynthia, stand by, and little Christopher. We'll, we'll be right back on the second segment. I'm going to bring one journalist and uh, co-host for Aria Live TV. We'll be right back.